five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, good morning everyone. I hope that countdown gave you a little bit of chance to your ears to get accustomed to my onslaught of words this morning. Good morning to each and every one of you all. It's a beautiful, hazy day here in Barbados at the moment. I'm sure you're enjoying these lovely waves that are rolling up on the shoreline. And I haven't been watching the screen too much because as you would have seen, I was doing my usual showing off by taking a little swim around in the water. If you did not see, I was certainly there. Hopefully they moved too fast that so you did not um, did not get a chance to see my perfection in strokes. But good morning to each and every one of you all. It is absolutely beautiful. For those of you that have not guessed yet where we are, I'm going to hold that for a little bit longer for you. And then I will, um, I'm sure you will know from the 360. Some of you may not actually know because it's not a very well traveled area. But we have certainly done quite a few vlogs down in this section before. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning and an absolutely perfect place for us to say our serenity prayer for this morning. What I'm going to do is actually turn us around. We're going to enjoy the view from the other side. Uh, we're going to see our serenity prayer looking in this beautiful direction. God, grant us a serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Well, it looks as though all systems are go because I'm hearing people saying about how look at that beautiful, beautiful place. And then I'm also hearing some people saying the sounds of the waves are lovely and calming. So I know for sure that we're all go this morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. Welcome to the beautiful island of Barbados. I am the Beijing warrior and today we're going to show you Barbados through my eyes. And that's with the assistance of my care team, our munch kings and our hall of famers and each and every one of you. Good morning to you all. It is a beautiful day here, the forecast this morning. I saw the satellite shot, looked very, very clear to me. Um, however, the for well, clear to me, and I had a band of cloud that's running from the south to the north, just east of the island. So I guess it all depends on where that may shift as to what will go on. Um, for those of you that have not already guessed it, we're in Paradise Beach. Um, this used to be, I would say, the five-star hotel of Barbados at one time, Paradise Beach Hotel. Not the structures you're seeing. There's a, a condo, a planned condo. Um, that was constructed down here where the original site used to be. Um, unfortunately, that has hit a stalemate. That has gone nowhere. Um, beautiful, beautiful property. One more time that just sits here on the island and actually goes, I think, to waste. Not to waste because we enjoy it, those of us that come here. But I think it is a perfect place to have the resort, bring that back again or something along that line. It is absolutely stunning down here. Before I go any further, you know me already. I don't tell you go and smell your rose without warning you about your thorns. You will see lots and lots of growth here, lots of bush um, all over this section here. Uh, so along with this bush comes the, you know, the heat of warning. If you're coming here, do not come by yourself with one person and lay down here for a long stretch of time through the day. I, you could come here, of course, sometimes it's pretty busy, but sometimes you can find no one on this beach at all. And these bushes here, lots of tracks run behind them and through them as well. So. Please rate this as a plus four in this section that we're presently on. Um, unless you're coming out with some friends, come with some friends, spend the entire day. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. No facilities in the immediate area, none whatsoever. You would have to go down to Batswap if you want a restaurant or up into um, Pile Bay and up into that section. Um, so it's not really anywhere to have conveniences. You're gonna have to bring your cooler with you, whatever you need to get through the day. Uh, we're gonna start off here now. Originally you had a, a pipe that used to run out here, oil pipe used to run out here before. Um, we use actually, there's a perfect, perfect left for any surfers that are on board. Um, if you ever see the West Coast really pumping, there's a left that comes off of this pipe that breaks into the bay. Likewise, on the other side of the bay, probably one of the most perfect rights in Barbados that comes from the outer shelf reef. Just off of where all of the uh, currents are, there are the rock structures or rock um, 
statues that are built over there on that point. Um, there's a right that comes in there. And just beyond that, maybe about four or 500 yards down, you'll find Bats Rock, which is the ultimate left. And then it keeps going and going and going. I'm not going to tell you all about the brakes. Just want to let you know, lots of surf brakes here. Looking at this water, you must be saying, Nicholas, what are you talking about? No waves could break there. Look at this beautiful ocean. What we're going to do is we're going to go down this steep, steep drop off this morning. Very steep drop off again in this area this morning. Um, and we're going to do a little water 360 for you, as well as take you for a little sea bath, first sea bath for the day. We're not counting to them today, but I will mention it's the first one, obviously. Um, I usually lose count after one or two. Um, I know Miss Care is currently on vacation, so I'm not going to ask her to count for me because she may miss one today. <laughs> Anyhow, here we go. This is our first waterborne 360 for the morning. Now that's what you gotta call a slow motion 360 then because it is so beautiful down here. We aren't really seeing all the full reflections as yet because the sun is still a little bit um, low. It's not really coming over and having any impact. But you can see them starting to wake up just over here to the north of where we are. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in Barbados. As is every day. It doesn't matter whether it's raining or whether it's sunshine. It is just a beautiful tropical day on this rock for sure. Look at this tropical setting. I'm going to give you all this here as our first photo up for the day. I know we passed it on the 360, but I'm going to give you 20 seconds of silence. Driver, count this for me, please. You have to excuse me if it was a little longer than 20 seconds, but you know, when I count in 20 seconds, I got you lace my toes and everything, or I can lose count. And I got some fairly tight shoes here. I got my big shoes this morning. So I can't wiggle them to get the count going. So forgive me if it was a little longer. You got a little extra benefit this morning. Look at how beautiful this sea is. Check me in the sea first of all, though. Jeez. <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. Not a lot of people actually come down here. I know that quite a few of you on here probably walk this area that stayed like in Freshwater Bay or Paradise in the years gone, um, etc, etc. But it's not really a well-frequented um, beach. Got a lot of people come down um, what used to be Spring Garden Highway, known as the Mighty Griner Highway, um, and do not realize that the beach continues right down to Bats Rock. So you can actually walk from up by the flour mill or by the Coast Guard Division right down to Bats Rock on beach. It is the longest stretch of beach besides the East Coast that I am aware of, um, continuous beach that is. Uh, there obviously is Carlisle Bay, but Carlisle Bay does not measure the length of hair from the flour mill to Bats Rock. Um, we did that, my, my Angela and myself, before. And we actually did it the same day. I suffered, believe it. I can imagine I did all that exercise. There are the days when I used to exercise, when fitness made a difference to me. Not anymore. Laziness is all that matters right now. Laziness and enjoying life. Not laziness in life though, you know. Just not overexerting unnecessarily. Jeez. What a beautiful, beautiful place. This whole bay here, absolutely perfect for swimming. Um, there's some reef, there's a flat reef that runs just off parallel to those machino trees you're seeing in distance. Uh, runs from there right up to Bats Rock. It's very hard to swim in that general area, but you can swim on either side of it. It's beautiful. And as I said, if you, if you go on to our surf breaks in Barbados uh, playlist on YouTube, you will see we did a, a small day here at Paradise to give you an indication of what the right can be like absolutely beautiful what you may not know for those of you who have never been to paradise itself these were the villas that were associated the beachfront villas were associated with paradise beach hotel so it used to run from 
this general area here, right through all this bushland, right down. All there are a lot of structures and stuff, tower hotel and everything up in the back, right down to the other end of this beach here. A beautiful, beautiful resort at one time. Had its own Olympic sized swimming pool as well. Now, just so you will see, we have been busy this morning. I did this with um, a piece of, as you can see on the ground there, coconut husk per se. Just check out. This is, uh, of course, leaving our stamp everywhere. This morning, I was actually privileged and blessed to spend a little time talking to Gina from Calabala, Calabaza Cruises. Um, she lives in this general area here. We were just talking in general about these springs. I was looking for the freshwater springs here in this area, directly in this section where the rocks are. Um, I haven't seen them for many, many years, but she was telling me um, that it's because of the lack of rain, or she believes it's because of the lack of rain, and that would make sense. The spring doesn't actually come down a ravine or anything here. It comes underground and actually comes up in the sand area. Um, if you get a lot of heavy rains, you will find little spouts coming up through where all these rock sections are just in front of us now. She was also telling me, which I did not know, that you actually get spouts coming up in the water offshore. Um, very, very cold. You can actually see them as well. Um, when you're out there, you can see the, the um, movement of the water and stuff and the sand that's getting pushed up by the actual force of the natural spring water that comes on through here. It's beautiful. I would love to see something done with this place. I mean, seriously, when I say something done with it, a lot has been done with it because many times you pass here, lots of bush, very overgrown, very risky area. Um, however, it has been cleaned up quite a bit now. As I said before, I wouldn't recommend coming down here and spending a day. Here is fine where we are kind of thing because this is sort of like visual and it's fairly far away from the bush area. But just down there in that section, I'd be just cautious. Remember, it's not telling you something is going to happen. I'm just telling you that the situation um, is there that something could happen because it's very lonely and very bushy. You know how we are. We paint it the way that I see it because it's called what? The beauty of Barbados through my eyes, not through anyone else's. So I'm going to tell you as I feel about it. These are my opinions, um, they're not opinions of anyone else. So, If you are not liking what I'm saying, especially if you're not living here, if you're living here, uh, ignore this please. Catch on, get on our airplane and come on down here, cuss me and pick your teeth with me. And then we're going to shake hands, I'm going to have a tonic water, you can have your favourite beverage and let us move on beyond that. Because I'm going to do it again in the next vlog that I get onto. So this is the general area here, where the water will come up and spout through the sand in this rocky general area. It's just beautiful this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Pile Bay just in front of us, a little fishing village. We'll go by there in a second. Talk a little bit more as you're walking. Today, we are going to make it to the hot pot. As I said, we are going to have a little bit of a walk, so don't bring too many beach toys, but I don't want you waiting yourself down. Um, this section here, I wouldn't do it in two. I would do it up to the hot pot, and then we have other sections beyond it. Um, so I'm just going to treat you to that a little bit now. Good morning to Nancy. Nancy and all your family, Melissa and everybody. You're going to be here in seven weeks time in this general area. I know where you're staying, but I'm not going to point it out. But anyhow, you'll be here soon. Looking forward to seeing you all again. I can't believe the year has come and gone that quickly. However, I am eager, eager to see you all. And hopefully the EMC baby, because we have a baby that was actually born during one of our broadcasts. The broadcast was being watched in the room. Uh, we call that the EMC baby. I'll introduce you all to some pictures of the baby then and the pictures of the baby now. Lots of stories about this beautiful, beautiful place. I mean, everyone has their own story about Barbados. Barbados is a place that lives on in everyone's memories. Beautiful. As you can see, the original Paradise Beach Hotel is indicated up there on the wall itself. Really, they would love to see that being developed again, even if it's just section by section. I just don't like to see it being lost um, from usage right now. Beautiful sunrise this morning. What do we say about the sun? The promises of a new day a day that we can make a difference a day that we can change anything that we made mistakes in yesterday a day that we'll go forward and try our absolute best but at the end of this day we will be apologizing to God because we will make mistakes because only God is perfect we are certainly not what I don't normally talk about here when I'm walking a section is a restaurant and bar just behind here it's called the bush bar now <laughs> a few years back well I say a few probably about 10 years back I would be down in Bush Bar on a Thursday night for sure right after work because uh, in those days you see all the port and drink all the rum imaginable. Not anymore of course. But the Bush Bar is behind here. They open. Um, the last time I looked at the open hours was from 5pm until midnight uh, every day except for Sunday. 
Um, they're located just behind here now. In a lovely little complex. Um, if you go there, you will get lost in the fun that happens there. Bush Bar, very, very popular. I know a lot of our members frequent over there. It's just directly behind these villas here, so it's very hard to see from the road itself. But you can find it the same way as you're driving by the power station, Barbados Light and Power Station itself. Um, just keep driving on that road past Pile Bay and you will come to the Bush Bar. Remember, it doesn't open until 5 p.m., so don't run along here. Now, the interesting thing, a quite comical thing, when I went into their site this morning to look to see if they were back open again, because as I said, they haven't been here for a while, I saw the very first thing on their menu was Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> so, and then they went on to talk about chicken and chips and fish and chips and steak and chips and of course fried pork. If you like pork, you need to come and try out the Bush Bar fried pork. It is the best fried pork in Barbados. Everybody who has eaten that here has said so. I did say the best barbecue. Remember the word, the best fried pork in Barbados. This is Freshwater Bay. Good morning, Christopher Maloney. Chris owns one of the condos in this area here. Um, he is one of our family members. If you are interested in staying in this beautiful area, um, please give him a call. Likewise, Gina Parvacino. She also owns some villas in this area as well. She's Calabaza Cruises. You can contact her if you would like to check out this area. Oh, we just got a cat trying to surprise me. And you know, it's hiding, hear it? It's hiding behind here looking for me. Hear it? Hello, good morning. How are you going? How are you? Good morning, say hello to the family. Oh, you are a camera cat, for sure. Oh yes, good dear. I tell you all already, boy, I'm the cat charmer and the dog charmer, so you gotta forgive me. I gotta spend a couple of seconds here patting this cat. Good morning, how are you going? Good dear, sweet. Yes, I love animals. You're walking with me? Oh boy. Okay, so I'm not too sure how long we will go over this here because I know for sure the ninja cat would not be happy if I brought home this kitten today. But as you can see, it's an oasis here on this beach. Just beautiful, beautiful accommodations. Okay, so that is our cat for the day. I'm going to see you later. You don't, you can't come with me. I can't get you home. My cat at home will not like that. So, okay, now we have Pile Bay here. This is a little fishing town, as I'd mentioned earlier on. Um, saw some gentlemen here this morning. Spent a few minutes talking to them, just talking about the general area and stuff. I always like to talk to people who frequent or people who are from a certain area because they always have a different insight to me, who is just visiting. So a little bit of knowledge from them, a little bit of local knowledge from them, and a little bit of assistance from them, and we work our way from there. Beautiful, beautiful day. Now, I'm happy we're here. This is mid-tide right now. I'm happy we're here at this time because um, even at high tide, you can see where the watermark is. There's quite a bit of sand, um, still up dry sand above it. The smooth section will be where the high water window will come up to. Uh, where it'll also go back to because we're at mid-tide going to high. Um, I think it's the high now. Yeah, that's correct. So there is plenty of beach here. There's a very wide set of beach. I'm going to show you some more of it. However, at low tide, um, especially in summer, you can walk around the outside of these boulders here this beach should be way out it is a massive beach at low tide remember any of you are on i'm going to remember remind you closer today on the 15th this month we're going to have an ultra ultra low tide that will mean any days two or three days on either side of the 15th you're going to see a fairly low tide now that is around 10 o'clock or 10 30 in the morning for the ultra low tide but if you're here in the island please do not miss your opportunity to take in somewhere at low tide on that day it is going to be incredibly low if you have not seen the charts that he put up don't worry getting close to the 15th i'm going to put them up again because i don't want anyone that's here to miss it because they are not familiar with it now we can get a lot of noise as we're moving our way up now because we're in the back of the barbados like the power station all the diesel turbine engines you can hear them working so it is a, a commercial section so you're not having the peace and quiet but you still have the slapping of the sound of the waves behind us which bring the peace just a beautiful area. Beyond, way beyond, you're seeing the Bridgetown Harbor. For those of you that have never been on a vlog before or are not familiar with this area at all. On the inside, once again, mixture of matched trees and casuinas, etc. 
mainly match Neil though. Now this place we're coming up to is deemed as a no swim zone. People still do swim here. I won't lie to you. I do as well sometimes. But you do not want to be caught down here on a weir. Um, this hot pot has claimed many, many lives. You know already, we talk the truth here. We're not going hi to highlight um, the beauty and then leave out anything that you may need to know. This place here is extremely dangerous. What happens if you get a big north swell? Um, you get the flash of water coming out from the cooling of the engines in at the uh, lighter power plant. It will come out and it will wash you into the surf with the current. So a lot of young unsuspecting or people that do not know to swim come into the hot pot and then get swept out of their depths and cannot swim. And this current takes you from that channel area where you're seeing lady with the dog. Right now where I'm standing, the water is hot. It's like jacuzzi hot. I'll talk a little bit more of that in a minute. But the currents that come down run right along here and outward into the fishing boat section. So if you're unable to swim, it gets deep very quickly. So just be careful, please. I wouldn't recommend swimming here. If you choose to swim here, that would be your decision, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, i just leave it at that if possible. Fine. This place shapes, this beach, this water coming out shapes the beach. And obviously with the build up of sand. Morning sir, how are you? All right. And the build up of sand um, is basically because of the spring tides and the surges and the north swells and also the water that's coming out of this, sub or out of this electric station. You can see the currents that are coming on here are pretty brisk. Um, so if it's a little kid that gets caught in here, it could be a very serious challenge. The current actually only starts about midway down here at this moment. Um, there is an outer bank of sand and you can see how the water, originally there would have been a big, a big pool here before the bank was burst and then you would get this here happening. Now this whole area changes the shape and the conditions of down here change. The water right now is like jacuzzi warm, really, really warm. Any of the real Bajans on here that have lived in this area or have frequented this area will tell you that this water they say has healing properties i really don't know uh, what the healing properties are besides the warmth itself i am not too sure but this is somewhere that a lot of elderly Bajans and also young ones as well but mainly elderly Bajans will come and swim I don't mind the you know swimming zone area and stuff a lot of them do come here and swim and you will see why some of them are encouraged to do so in a few minutes time but this whole section has changed. The last time we were here, all here was beach and the burst of the banks itself was further up. We're gonna walk in that general direction. Now for you that come down the Spring Garden Highway, the Mighty Griner Highway, go in either direction, either to Bridge Tongue or to Spike Stone, you will not probably even know that this beach exists. And it goes continuously, as I said, right down to Bats Rock. So if you are in this area, um, I would take a little walk down here I wouldn't do it in the middle of the day. It gets pretty hot. And as we are down here in the sheltered west side with all these structures and stuff on the east of us, it can get really hot and really humid on occasions. So if you're gonna come down here, pick your timing. I would recommend very early on the morning. Or if you want to see a spectacular sunset, come down here in the afternoon. There are some webcams set up at, um, Bright at Brighton and at Brandon's. Um, you can have a look at them on our um, webcam site. And you can watch the sunset from here as well. Absolutely beautiful. But here is a glaring sunset. There's really nothing blocking it. No trees you can see between here and obviously the horizon. As I said before, very popular. Unfortunately, a lot of barbecuing goes on here. I mean barbecuing, you know what I mean? Roasting a breadfruit, etc. And the area is looking a little unkempt. Last time it was here, a lot tidier. But unfortunately, that's what happens. Someone I'm sure will come and clean it up as they always do because they have some diehard people that clean this area regularly. Believe it or not, some of my visitor friends from Canada come here and pick up bags and bags of litter and move it. Good morning to everyone. Would you all like to wave off to my friends from all over the world? Good morning to you all. Thank you very much. Greetings. Yep. Enjoy your mangoes. Have a blessed day, everyone. Uh, I would love one when they come back. Okay. Well, if they are, if they are, it's meant for me. If it's not, someone else needs it more. Have a great day, okay? Thanks a lot. Beautiful, beautiful hot pot, as you can see. Look how calm in here looks. This is why it's very deceiving for a lot of people that come here, first timers. All these are very experienced people that would do this every day of the week. So they would know exactly when to go in here and when not to go in here. There's sometimes I've seen some of them come here and not go in at all because it's so dangerous. 
Um, but as you can see, it's really calm in here. But you can see the currents of the water that flashes on the pipes where all these folks are. That's the real hot water coming off the diesel turbine engines that comes out here and works its way down. Now, as I said, this entire beach can change its shape due to the water out here. You can have a look above here of what's going on as well. So you can get a lot of this water building up in this area. You know, the hot pot may have run in this general direction and then the sand built up and it left the water in this general area. So that will go over time, but that will take a long time for that to move. We're gonna take a walk in the outer bank now. And we're just gonna take a, an, an upper walk this morning in this general location for you. Is this not beautiful? The reflections, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now you can see the sign up there. It says, do not swim here. Not be cautious and be careful. Do not swim here. It's warning you about the strong currents. As like I said before, you can sometimes find water coming straight out from there. A uh, uh, area going right down through here. A drainage ravine like and straight into the sea. Now when it's straight like that, there's no diffusing of the current that's coming out from those pipes. It will wash you straight into the water. Right now, it's turned sideways and therefore it is not that terrible. It's not running straight out. It's actually hitting the banks and then working its way across. Absolutely beautiful area. Today is a, right where we are is a case of seeing beyond and seeing beyond this light and power station, we see this kind of beauty. Absolutely stunning. The sand I'm walking on, deep and soft. I'll show you now. Uh, this is because it continuously moves. This is not sand that's been here for a long time. It's deep and soft. This whole bank, as I said, will be wiped out. The next big north swell we have, this whole bank will be gone and it will reshape itself one more time with the currents coming out of the hot pot. Just beautiful, beautiful day. Now all out here is warm water because you can appreciate this is still hot coming down through here. As I said before, way down where we were is like a jacuzzi. Absolutely lovely. So if you want something and experience like this, please come and check it out. But again, be careful. Talk to some of the locals in the area. Watch what they're doing. Take heed from them, not from the little drinking younger folks, because there are some of them, or from the older drinking folks. Uh, make sure that when you ask directions or something, you can understand clearly, and there's no slurry involved, please. <laughs> oh boy, I said the water was, was warm here. The water is quite cold where I actually am going in this morning right now because uh, the warm water is flowing down and out with the current. So this is a place that you will find big swells that are coming through when it's a north swell. And this is where the dangers start to come for those that are unsuspecting and unaware of the currents um, that exist in this area. So again, word of caution. I'm gonna go with what the sign says. Do not swim here. Let's put it at that. So I would like to thank all of you for joining me again this morning. Um, along with me, of course, are all of our care team, the EMC crew, I will call them. Care team, Munch Kings, Hall of Famers, and each and every one of the EMC members are on here. Um, this EMC is made up of we, it's not of I or of any particular person, it's everyone is involved. The love and care that you are feeling in this room this morning, which I'm sure you must be, is coming from everyone within the room and it's originating from me, from God but from everyone in the room who is contributing to this area because we all love it. I'll just show you what the embankments here look like. See this gentleman just works his way across here. I guess he may be going in to see itself. Um, these guys are extremely, extremely experienced out here, so it wouldn't be a problem. To each and every one of you, thank you for joining us again this morning. Remember, tomorrow is an off day for those newcomers that are on here. Um, does not mean that it's a rest day. This means it's an off day. Hopefully I'll get out there and see some of you. Not too sure what my plans are, but as you know, the day will go on because it is actually a when tease day. And that is the day that we like to tease you with some high resolution videos and also with some photos of the island. So from the hot pot in Barbados, from just north of Brighton Beach itself, which is just to the north of the Bridgetown Harbour, I greet you farewell. I wish you all an amazing day. I hope that whatever you've experienced today, you can take this forward with you and share it with everyone you come in contact with because I know you found peace, you found happiness, you found beauty, and you found love in this room this morning. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe, be blessed, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Have a great day. See you all later.
And just so you know, I'm going back over here for my mango. Catch you all later. Have a great day, everyone.